पहले तो ये समझ ही नहीं पाएगा बीमारी क्या है लोग तो नहीं समझे किसी को बोलेंगे ना ब्लड चढ़ाने जैसे ट्रांसफ्यूजन है तो बोलेंगे हाँ ब्लड कैंसर है वी आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट थैलेसेमिया मेजर ये क्या है समझ पे अभी तक पता नहीं है थैलेसेमिया क्या चीज़ है पहले तो थोड़ा बताया तो अभी एकदम से डर गए कि अभी इतनी छोटी बच्ची है तो अभी क्या करने का अभी कैसे उसका पूरा लाइफ जाएगा मतलब ये तो लाइफ टाइम है बस the white blood cells there is nothing wrong with the platelets and also the plasma which i am calling referring to the water content of blood that is also absolutely normal red blood cells what we call which is present in the blood contain the hemoglobin which is responsible for carrying the oxygen from the lungs to the various tissues this hemoglobin there is a defect in the formation of the hemoglobin and therefore they develop the thalassemia thalassemia hits uh, all kinds of patients it's not necessarily the uh, lower class or the middle class or the upper class it can uh, hit any uh, class of patients in india particularly there are certain definite communities where thalassemia is more common this is more common in punjabis sindhis in gujaratis a lohana community it also occurs in mahars kolis kachi meman and saraswat brahmins i don't think it's uh, one single community and we do not rule out a diagnosis just because it doesn't belong to that community so we would if there are features in the child which merit investigations for uh, looking at the parents uh, for their thalassemia minor status we would opt to go and do it since in india intermarriages between different communities are rare this disease tends to be found predominantly in certain high risk communities as thalassemia is a genetic disease and is most likely to be transmitted within these communities There are three types of thalassemia. One is a thalassemia major, one is a thalassemia minor, one is a thalassemia intermediate. There may be total lack of production of red blood cells, which is called uh, thalassemia major, where red blood cells are produced but they are empty. The content of hemoglobin is almost zero. So therefore, uh, these children cannot sustain their life. The production of uh, hemoglobin is so low that they cannot sustain without additional blood transfusion. That is thalassemia major. That is a very uh, dangerous and fatal uh, disorder. The best example I can give is between the tiger and the cat. Both nearly look alike, but tiger is very dangerous. The similarly, thalassemia major is very dangerous, and if it is untreated, it is a fatal. Where a thalassemia minor, many times you may not be able to know also whether a person has got a thalassemia minor or not. He looks as same as any of other individuals. and this is the main difference whereas in thalassemia intermedia they are between the two uh, neither they are major nor they are minor but they have got symptoms which they can live without any blood transfusion treatment of thalassemia this involves a repeated blood transfusions if you don't treat these children then anemia increases the blood goes down they go into congestive cardiac failure they make it a recurrent infection maybe pneumonia maybe diarrhea and then ultimately they succumb to the disease because of non availability of the treatment but if you give the treatment properly they can grow well every 15 days to 3 weeks you have to give blood transfusion and raise his hemoglobin 
Generally, these children are kept on a hypertransfusion therapy, meaning thereby the hemoglobin of these children is kept between 9 to 12 grams so that their growth is normal and uh, they are not bedridden or they are not weak. Where does all this blood come from? We are thickly populated. Blood has to come from the people around. See, the aim in collecting blood is to see the donor is fit to donate and donation is good enough to give it to the recipient. The person should be free from any diseases. Omar, how time you blood before? आपको कुछ मलेरिया, टाइफाइड, जॉन्डिस कुछ है, खांसी, बुखार कुछ, कुछ वैक्सीनेशन लिया है क्या आपने? कुछ भी नहीं लिया है? अच्छा फॉर्म भर के आप साइन कर लीजिए। All blood issued is tested for hepatitis, HIV, VDRL, malaria and HCV. Now while selecting the blood, of course you have to give the same group of blood, but also they need only RBCs and not other parts of the blood like WBCs, platelets or plasma. So therefore we prepare pack cells and in these pack cells we remove the plasma. Then these pack cells are later on washed with the normal saline three times so that whatever WBCs and platelets are there, they are also removed to the great extent. So as much as pure RBCs as possible, these RBCs are given to the children. For clean blood, to reach children like Namisha, the blood collected from healthy voluntary donors must be carefully tested and processed. It is only then that these children will be able to survive. It's very important that these children get this well-tested blood because they take repeated blood transfusions practically every two weeks. In fact, we have done a survey uh, for thalassemic children and uh, we found that out of the 127 children whom we surveyed on a particular day, 27 were positive for HIV, 54 for hepatitis B, and a very small percentage, I think there were about two children who were positive for hepatitis C. In spite of the precautions taken to ensure that only clean, healthy blood reaches thalassemia major patients, there are risks. Rashid is a thalassemia major patient who has been diagnosed as HIV positive after one of his transfusions. When I was treating 100 children of thalassemia at St. George's Hospital, almost uh, 16 of the children, they were infected with HIV. The reason was before 1989, we were not testing blood for HIV. Another thing is some of the blood donors, they may be in window period. In case of HIV, for the first 45 days, you are in a window period. Suppose on the 1st January, you got an infection. Then by laboratory test, you become HIV positive by 15th February. But you have donated blood between 1st January and 15th of uh, February, then this blood is infective. It can give HIV to some other person. But if you test by the laboratory test, it may remain negative. Apart from the problem of blood-borne infections faced by thalassemia major children due to the multiple transfusions they have to undergo, these children are also faced with another deadly repercussion. Blood contains hemoglobin and hemoglobin contains iron. Any blood cells, when enters in the body, particularly from...